I'm not recording at 1 a.m. You're recording at 1 a.m. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your weekday weekend. I'm Adam, back with another TriCAD video. Um, so, disclaimer before we begin. Um, as I've said before, I'm basically a CAD newbie. If you'd like to see info about the CAD software I use on the day-to-day -day now, which is Alibre, then check out my the CAD software no one is talking about video. I'll link it above in a card. Basically, I have limited experience in Tinkercad for really simple stuff. I have basic experience in Onshape with some more intricate models. From there, I didn't like Onshape's privacy policy, and instead I went with Alibre. Long story short. I probably have less than a year of CAD experience. I'm still learning. And the whole point of these videos is to help you find a CAD software that is right for you. In these videos, we're looking at things like cost, how much and how often. We're looking at ease of use. If you have CAD experience already from a free or cheap offering, or maybe a software that you don't like, can you transfer those skills over so that you don't have to relearn a whole new program, at least not from scratch? And the privacy policy. How much of your info is the company selling to other people? Today, we're going the best price of all, free. This is free CAD, and um, it ticks a lot of those boxes, quite honestly. Um, it has the best price ever, it's free. It also has the best privacy policy in that you're not giving away your info to download this. Um, it is, I mean, they work on donation. So if you really like free CAD, um, consider dropping them a coin or two. Some of you are free CAD experts, but um, others like me have about five minutes in free CAD and took one look and went, mm, maybe not. The other disclaimer is, of course, that I'm not looking at tutorials for these softwares. That goes back to the able to transfer over your current experience thing. So um, from here, Ooh, we don't want to do file associations. Sorry, I'm installing this as I tell you all this stuff. Um, don't want to do file associations. I want them to still stick with the Libre. Otherwise, I'm going to be pissed when it tries to open up a step file in FreeCAD and it's no longer installed. So um, we're currently installing. We'll be back in a second. You might notice how I didn't have to create an account. I didn't have to accept a privacy policy. I didn't have to give a phone number, email, any of that kind of stuff. So it's kind of nice. The problem I previously had with FreeCAD, of course, was jumping in and transferring my experience. It seemed a little difficult. The menus were a bit daunting, didn't really know where to start. Hopefully we can figure it out in a couple minutes. Some of you with more experience in FreeCAD might be cringing at what I'm about to do. Looking at you, Joseph. But again, you know, the part, the point of this is that I'm not looking at tutorials. Let's get into it. I like the splash screen. Simple, elegant. Okay. A record button? Macro recording. Right from the very start. Interesting. There's some example files it looks like, which is kind of cool. Um, we're just going to press create new, I guess. Oh geez, already I have no planes. Um, okay. View. Um, oh no. Oh no. Um, um, what is? Oh no. Part design. Start part, create body, create sketch. Hey, I did it. Okay, we're gonna sketch on, on the, the uh, 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 X, Y plane. Yes, okay, cool. I think I did it. And then a center rectangle. Hey, I'm doing it. Is it gonna snap to the origin? It turned, yes, it did. Cool. And then escape, is D the dimension tool? It is not. These are constraints. Where's my dimension tool? <laughs> Point splines 
rectangles, slots, fillets, um, dimension, constraint distance. There we go. What's the keyboard command for that? K or D I did D. Is that K or D? Oh shoot, now I don't remember what. Okay, cool. I don't remember what the drawing is supposed to be of. One second. All right, here's our drawing. Ignore how horrible this drawing is. I have no experience and I've never been taught how to make drawings like this. So ignore how basic and horrible it is. Let's do this. So we have a 50 millimeter cube. How do I extrude this? Do I have to like finish the sketch? Um, close. And then... Uh, pad? Pad is selected. I don't know what that means. Oh no. Additive heal it. Is it pad? Oh, yes, I guess pad is what I want. Let's make it 50. C cool, all, all right. Um, <laughs> the controls are exactly the opposite of, um, not exact opposite, pretty opposite of, um, I was looking at, um, I looked at Rhino briefly um, it's not what I would call a parametric 3D modeler. Okay, from here, create a sketch on that face. I want to be normal to that face, so. Uh oh. Allow use, allow, allow from bodies of the same from different parts. Oh no. Oh no. Um I can't figure out how to how to draw on this on this face. Oh no. Crap. Create a sketch. Oh. Okay, I did it. Cool. I had to click on that and then press create a sketch. Okay, okay, okay. Joseph, you're calm down. I know, I know you're just spinning in your seat. Okay, I totally messed that up. I... Oh, jeez. I keep right-clicking to rotate. I don't know how to view normal. Um... Hey, okay, I can double click up there. That's kind of a fairly standard thing. So, okay, center. I can't, can I snap it to this? Oh, I'm looking, not looking at my, okay. I can snap it to this axis line, which is nice. It doesn't automatically snap to center, but that's fine. Okay, construction geometry. Toggle construction geometry, that line. That. And. That. Oh, hang on. We're not using, let's not project a sketch. So it's not using this geometry. Let's project a sketch so that we can We're back, guys. <laughs> um, how do I project a sketch? 
view sketch view section um This looks, copy the geometry of another sketch. This is reference geometry. Why not? So herein lies my issue that I've always had with FreeCAD, which is like, stuff is just not obvious. There's not, it's not, as polished as a Libre or Fusion or Onshape. Because I, I feel like this carbon copy should allow me to grab a sketch figure. Create external, or I'm sorry, not carbon copy, this one. Create external geometry. Create an edge linked to an external geometry. Do I have to be at the right angle? No. Okay. Um, well, kind of running out of options here. Let's see if we can get around this somehow, I guess. Let's see if we can Let's see if we can do, let's see if we can, we can make it anyway. Let's see if we can get around this. Firstly, uh, Jesus Christ. How do I get back? Oh no. I want that. Okay, cool. And then I want a midline constraint or midpoint constraint. Train point onto object. Um, pressing escape to and it keeps xing the sketch and I have to okay we're fine everything's fine I feel like I need the one grip right now um dank pods reference for all of you let's just let's just constrain the distances we know that it's 25 there we know that it's 25 there I can't move those that's interesting um, and then I want um, what? I keep pressing escape to exit the, the sketch tool and it's not I swear the right click was just pan Am I going insane? I swear right- Also, why is it... Constrained distance? Is that not the distance tool? 50. Fifty? There. Is that constrained? I don't know. It should be. That's reference geometry, though. Okay. Now, I want actual geometry. Constraint there. And then, constraint distance. Can that not, can I do it? I can't. Different distance tools for different geometry. Okay, deep breaths. Okay, that's our, well, that's not our sketch, but 
constrained distance. I want that to that. 25. Okay. That should be good. Okay. Now close that. And then... How do I... Value error. I don't know what those are. I'm just going to pretend that it's not. How do I extrude a hole? Hole? Hole! Put. If this can actually do threading, that's awesome. But this, this also is not a real hold not the whole tool that I want pocket pocket what do you mean there's no solid I don't understand help Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this whole thing. Okay. And then we're gonna create a sketch on that. And then we're gonna do reference geometry. We're just gonna create. That. And then I'm gonna do that. press. I'm going to do that to that 25. That to that. Oopsie. That to that 25. That 50. Okay, now we have a reference geometry for that face because I don't know how to project a sketch or use or whatever you want to call it. We have to use this specific dimension tool for that. 25. Okay. Now, close that. Oh my god, I did it. Um, type. We'll just do through all. That way I don't have to worry about it. Actually, no, I don't want to do through all. Edit pocket. I have to do, um, Up to face that one. Cool, and it's where it worked. Okay, good. Um, and then we just need the top. Okay, we're actually doing this. Believe it or not, we're doing this. I'm having to do some workarounds because I don't know the software, but we're doing it. Center rectangle on the origin. Okay. Um, keep pressing escape to get rid of tools, and it really is driving me insane. <laughs> oh, Joseph, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, all right. That is constrained. Did I accidentally create real geometry? I I did, didn't I? Oh. Uh, oh no. Okay, let's do the same thing. Do the same thing. Do that and that equal constraint. Do the dimension tool. That. 50. Okay. That should be fine. Real geometry time. I don't know why I did that. That whole thing was completely unnecessary. I don't need that at all because I have the origin. I'm stupid. 25. Okay. Close. Extrude. Um, up to face. That one. I think we did it, gang. I think we did it. We need to do some fillets. 
But until then, I think we did. Is this a fillet? No, it's a revolution. Fillet. Let's just, no? Can I delete that? I just want to do some edges. The oopsie. Okay. Edge two point oh millimeters. Okay. Oh my gosh. It worked. I don't really like the orbit tool, but we got there in the end. Hang on, did we? Why are we missing? Hang on. We're missing. We're missing one of our holes. I don't understand how that happened. Recompute failed. I don't know why. That's really helpful. Recompute failed. It looks fine to me. I've got dimensions. Okay, well, we almost got there. But in the end, didn't even matter. Let's, before I wrap this up, let's go ahead and see if I can export this. Export. Oh, well, it defaults to a 3MF. It defaults to a 3MF, which is interesting. Um, it has a lot of options for... Oh, geez. Lost my mouse. Help. There's a lot of options. Let's just do an STL. Let's get into Orca Slicer and see how this looks. Loading of model file failed. Does not contain geometry data. Okay. Well, luckily, I. Assuming this is the FreeCAD project file. Luckily I saved the project file. Cool. Let's try to export again. Select objects to export that. Export. Um, did I do that wrong the first time maybe? It didn't just didn't give me the error. Might be a bug if that's the case. Let's also just export it as a 3MF. Um, just maybe see if that works. Okay, we'll tab over to Orca Slicer right now. All right, it worked this time. I have geometry, and this is the STL. The quality of the STL is a little lower than Fusion, but with 3D printing, I don't know that it's really gonna matter with like a fillet like that. It might be noticeable a little bit, but uh, that internal hole is just Jesus. But you might notice we're also missing the hole down the center. I don't know how or why it did that. Um, I thought for sure it was my, interesting, I thought for sure that it was the side hole that didn't calculate right. Unless the, the unless this is the top one and it oriented incorrectly, I'll never know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I've been Adam. You guys are phenomenal. 
Thank you so much for watching. Again, sorry to all you free CAD users for the horrible site you just saw. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Check out the website for more weekend vibes. I have a Discord channel as well. See you guys next time. Next weekend. Bye.